Remaking the lobby. I'm, che I'm checking the pubs. Has Tiger played? It? Okay, this no. Is crazy. Yeah, no. They're, they're remaking. No, I'm, no, I'm down. See bottom as well. Misha trying to step up through the aggression onto S4. Gonna take quite a bit of damage here, hands Ken. Trying to chase, but Yuragi is just pushing forward. He's got the blade fury. See if he's got enough damage to take S4 down. He does. This could be first blood for Yuragi. See if he's able to duke this out as well around the trees. There's gonna be a rebound for the moment. And, and indeed, that's gonna be out of. Winter Ranger and Disruptor can set up. And we see a mid lane. Like, I feel like real pack. Not real pack players, like really comfortable pack players don't really mind this matchup. Like, okay, what? close up. So they can catch it. Chaos Spot, hold back Aqua. Hex suit. He's, he's a couple more. He's got that vision with the setup from that Bloodseeker. And that passive on the low heroes. Amar, you know, I've just done again in a second, but not quite. Portrayal. Ah. Juggernaut actually getting a uh, Basilius is very interesting. So he, he's like a Vulcan Fontaine. Oh. oh. I see Tiger and Amar. They're going to go for the kill. Same to be set down bottom. Yuragi is in with the Blade Fury. And again, he'll be able to take down S4. Also be able to keep his distance from Handscan and back up top. Amar. About Handscan. Uh, we, we, we should, if we can, watch the replay. But yeah. he was so low on both HP and mana that sometimes you want to die. Just for That's a refresh. Okay. It's better than sitting on the tower. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see if we get the replay, see how that looks. There's a first dragon, uh, Night Ulti. I think he's gonna look to pressure the tower. Like, but like, if Misha dies here, which he probably will, the DK needs to be very careful. As for is gonna die, this is a huge trade. Not only they trade core for support, they also have now this TP on mid lane from Marcy in 10 seconds, which can break the game. I'll oh, see the six minute power rune contest here between OG and Goon Squad. Oh, I think there's definitely a high chance of that. Yeah, Amar was probably calling for it for the top laners. Like, you're arguing, you can oh, just... Oh, S4 in trouble again. Got, it's going to be a fourth time. It he's is. S4 after all. A, th that's true. That is true. But it, four deaths there from S4. But back up top, Amar. Going to go for the kill on Aqua. Tiger holding his position. Pexu trying to finish up the kill. He needs that final right click. It will do the job. But Amar will get glimpsed back. Oh, it actually goes back the illusion, I think. So, Amar. So they can fight OG later. There's another smoke for OG. I think the third one. They're gonna find the disruptor, but maybe the Hanska will pay the price. It's pretty tanky. He's got the hammer out. Oh, not quite able to bring himself down into the river, though. That will mean that OG can finish him off, and at the same time, Amar, over in the river, he'll be able to catch out S4. So those. I mean, Amar would be a big kill. He's top net worth right now. I'm gonna try for it. Straight in with the stun, Static Storm to follow up. TPs are coming in. And Amar, he cannot live through this amount of damage. They take him down. OG, what do they want to do in return? BZM's in with the two man silence. The Gale Force blowing them to the side. Yuragi jumps in with the Omni Slash to take out Pexer to the side. And now he's ready to swing over to pick up more. He's on top of Limp. Limp will fall. Double kill for Yuragi. Aqua, see if he's got any place to, to play in this fight. So looking at options to keep this going. Let's see with S4. It's caught in the front of it. Jump forward, and Yuragi, he's ready to continue to push on onto S4 despite being ruptured. It doesn't matter. He can close the gap, take him down. It's tough for the Ghoul Squad to keep up. Yeah, and now top. You know, OG, they're ready to just go, go, go. And they're going to lead him with the Dream Car. They'll turn the tits towards S4. He has got backup. So it might be a trickier, bit trickier of a kill than they planned. And indeed, Ghoul Squad turn up. They take down Misha. The rest of OG, they had to back off, but the stun's there for Limp. He's gonna ooh, Omni Slash over towards the small camp, back in on towards them. S4 getting brought low. He's gonna jump back in to help out. Comes in with a four man silence to try and keep your Arky safe. He's got the Blade Fury, healing ward out as well, but Aqua's got the damage to punch through it. Take him down. Static Storm catches onto BZM. Goon Squad. Oh, do you want to try and take the fight? Immediate jump from Tiger in, but the reaction's there for Limp. Silence down. Onto the two of them. Your has got to get out with the Blade Fury. They'll trap Misha, take him out straight over towards Yuragi. He'll be able to turn and get the ult up, but it's going to do barely any damage here to them as he dies immediately as he comes to an end. They're ready to try and go for more. It's a three-man coil from BZM to attempt to hold back Goon Squad, but the chase will continue as the coil comes to an end. Amar pulls in Pexu, but he's been surrounded by the four of them. Double kill for Aqua. As BZM, he's got to be careful. Look at the glimpse. Time it with the orbs. Or you force downbreaker ulti on Pexu. Like, it could be a really good fight for Orgy. So oh. do Tiger. Nice shackle into the Gale Force, blowing the two of them back. You see straight away Lim pots the BKB, turns towards Tiger, they'll take him down. And we have to keep this push going. The next creep wave coming in. Backdoor protection is removed once more. 
Yes, buyback of being able to kill it. They really don't have damage to grow to these tanky heroes with BKBs. Are they gonna try? They're gonna try and set things up. And with the stat up, Aqua is gonna be able to put the BKB. Still the Guardian as well, healing him up for now. He's gonna opt to TP out of it. They're gonna bail out Amar bought back. They wanna try and cut their losses. They don't wanna lose anything else. Hamskin, he'll be the one left behind, but everybody else gets out. Again, Goon Squad with some really nice top stuff here. You know, they take the melee racks, they force the Amar. OG already in position to maybe try and find a fight. Still with that remaining 20 seconds where there's no Hamskin. OG smells the blow. Oh my oh, and god. The beautiful shackle there, Tiger. He's in and he's able to catch Limp and S4 disposed to the side. Jiragi's in on top of them with a Blade Fury. S4 will fall. They're just all dying. OG, they jumped them around the tier two. And, you know, moments ago, Goon Squad, they were able to push the base. It looked like a decent setup. They get the melee racks, they force the Amar buyback. But then just. He's just dead. Another. Oh. Oh, he's in. They're ready to go. Straight into the mid, they have a Solar Guardian and a Static Storm, but again, the Blade Fury is off in time. Yuragi trying to back out towards the side, gets the Healing Ward down. He'll be able to hide in the trees, they're going to try and hunt for him. But already Amar, he's onto the back lines, he's onto Aqua. Aqua has to run, Aqua's going to die, he's out of the game. Tiger jumps in, finishes off Pexu. Two heroes dead without buyback, the Dream Core snap back, catching onto Hansken. And Yuragi, he's still alive, he's back in with the Blade Fury, takes out Hansken. Limp is surrounded here, OG just toying with them. Amar's put them back up. Throws it down onto S4. S4 has buyback, but the rest of the team do not. Ancients exposed. They're ready to end it here, OG. That's it. I mean, really good go. execution. Yeah, I mean, we, we saw it you know, for, for, for the first 30 minutes or so. Goon Squad, they really stepped it up this game. It looked like they had a solid chance. It looked like they were going to do it. They were down on that bottom lane push. They get the racks. The fact that OG, the earlier fights, SD will deal with the TB, the life still will deal with everyone else. Slug, Slardar and Puck, yeah, I just feel like OG. Be careful, oh no, you're just gonna kill the illusions. Oh, yeah. That's not uncommon. But they're gonna make a goal. Let's see if they can take down Tiger. The Starbreaker connection and put the Fairy Fire stick charges ready to go as well. Tiger's able to get out. Back under the tower, he's safe. Goon Squad not quite having enough firepower there between the two of them to take him down. Meanwhile, up at the top side of things, S4 and Hansken, they'll nice. find the first blood themselves. They'll take out me. In the early game. And also bottom, Tiger playing it to perfection. Oh, there's gonna be a disruption. They have a stun and bash ready. Let's see what they can do. Bash. Into the crowd. Crush it. He's got the stick charges, but the stacks are building up. Another bash here, of course, from Amar. Tiger playing out of his mind. Not just surviving on the. with the Thunder God's Wrath Lip. Won't hold back on, on any chance of missing out on that kill. He'll pop it here to secure the kill on Misha. Just fine. Don't need to, like, over stress it or overthink it, like, to use it for a big kill. But Amar might be in a problem. Uh, not Amar, sorry, Aqua. He's, he's going to commit with the Dream Cards close to the tower. And they should still be able to dive in to get some of these kills. Do a breath full catch on the Hansken. See if that's enough to kill him off. It doesn't look like it will be. Hansken's going to be fine. So OG not actually able to get either of the two kills. Goon Squad, they keep both alive. Bottom lane, set up there onto Aqua. And now with the level six up, it's so much damage. They try and get Aqua out there, but the crush comes out from Amar. And he's ready to look to set up for Pexu as well. The stick charges are popped. Pexu trying to hide through the trees, but with the setup of the alt, they'll... He's pinging it. He's getting the info that there might be a potential turn play here. Yeah, these are some nice jukes from Pexu. It's going to slow things down, but he'll show oh. himself once again. And uh, he's going to get caught. Mark TP's are coming in. But uh, Pexo, he's already dead. Let's see if S4 can punish this. Arena's out, he's got the combo, he'll be able to do so. Comes in, gets the trade. I think at the end of the day, that's for the map. And they'll find him. TP's are coming in. They've got the lockdown, they'll take him out. See the reaction, Yuragi's already able to put the rage to so the spear combo. Not gonna be successful. Rage will now come to an end. They have the Ancient Steel into the Starbreaker, but he's outside the most stick player. The Arc Lightning does find him though. They bring down Yuragi Goon Squad. The Dream Core is out for BZM into the Stunts of Mark with the bashes. He's still good to go. And he just died to tower. No, he's going to be able to he walk it bottle. off. The bottle charge passed over towards him, keeps him alive. And they're ready to try and maybe look for more. They're toying around with S4. Demonic Purge at the ready. Amar, he's thinking about jumping back in on this. He doesn't even need to. He primes it with the ultimate. And now the jump. S4. It's in with the spear. He'll be able to catch on to Misha. They'll take him out. And S4 will lose his life for that attempt, and, and they're ready to go for more. Hanskin tries for a TP out, but he's caught by the Yules. 
Once again, OG taking the team fights in Amar. He's going to see if he can maybe chase down for more. They've got the Dream Coil, BZM just on the edge of it, able to catch Aqua. They'll look to run him down, and Mars ready to dive in with that Mask of Madness, take him out. He doesn't want to dive to Tier 2 quite yet, respect the magical damage being thrown out by Lim. Let's see if BZM is going to be able to get out. Um, who's going to pick up the Aegis, Amar or Yuragi? Uh, it seems like Yuragi. Yeah, uh, I mean, Amar is probably like, well, no, he, he, he doesn't mind if he dies. Yuragi's life more important, and back over into the mid, they've already got the catches. Amar's in, he's looking for S4. A defensive safe. disruption comes out in time to help dodge him from the spear. And Will still dies to the magical burst, but this is still going to be OG's fight for sure once again as they're diving in. Ice Bark catches out Peksu. They take out a third hero here. As Goon Squad, they let them pick TB this late in the draft. They must have been prepared to deal with it. Yeah. And it really shows. They absolutely this TB does. has no impact at all. See? They'll try and save S4, but he still goes down. Peksu will also fall to his death, slowly but surely. The coil, it's already caught on to, to Aqua on the high ground. See if OG want to dive with this. They do. They're into the base. They're on top of Aqua. They take him out. Four dead. We'll see how much they want to play on in this one, but we could be seeing the GG soon. They're already set up. Another sort of movement's coming into play. Amar's ready to charge in. He'll just the smoke. He jumps right in immediately on top of Hanskin. Hanskin goes down. The Dream Core's there. On to Peksu and Limp. And Pe Peksu tries to get the Solar Guardian going, but he'll die before he can get it off. S4 to fall. OG, they're just ready for them. They're just ready for them. They knew exactly what was coming there. Oh! Oh, they get the start. That's not a BZM. He's getting very low, but he has the Yule Scepter. Limp already been taken out. He's got the phase shift here, BZM. He's going to be fine. Jumps back down into the river. It's two dead on Goon Squad. There'll be a buyback straight away from Limp as he'll try and get over the walls to fight. Amar's in on top of S4, bashing him through the BKB. Aqua will try and run, but the Dream Core catches him. He's not even able to turn and hit back. This is a triple kill for Yuragi. BZM finally dies. But that, I think, is going to be as much as they'll get. It's and then from your argue with his Albert. And it's going to make him pretty miserable in the team fights. We'll see the other side, S4. He'll lay down the arena, but Amar just ready to stand his ground, punch into him. Peksu will jump over to try and help. Hansken cannot escape as Yuragi tears him apart. There's two dead once more. OG, they're ready to push up for the final set of racks. Even without Puck, they still win 2 for 0. 4 with 5 fight. 32k lead here at 33 minutes. Only a thousand. Well, there we go now. 33. So 1k gold a minute. The lead here for OG. What is the play for the Goon Squad here? No Mars. Aegis on Life Stealer. Amar just taunting. And we go. They're already in with the jump. They're straight away there. BZM solos limp. 100 to 0 here with the burst of the Dagon. They're ready to dive towards the fountain. Aqua desperately trying to scramble away from OG, but they tear him apart in seconds. GG, GG. is called. OG will take this game too. Very much looking to be on top form here in the second game of the series.